too many nuggets contained in this book streaming from a wealth of knowledge. The next event is the HR Expo Africa, an event that focused on training and celebrating human resource personnel in Nigeria. Now, our very own director, PCU TVC Communications, Kemi Shonubi, was recognized at this event. Over the years, the HR Expo Africa has been a platform for professionals to explore innovative approaches to human resources management. This event, which is the ninth edition, took place on the 3rd and 4th of April in Lagos and had masterclasses as well as an award ceremony for outstanding performances among HR professionals. This year's theme is HR Renaissance Innovating for Impact. Some of the topics covered during the masterclasses included how technology is transforming industries and reshaping jobs, how to embrace workplace trends by appreciating and supporting transformative employee, getting the best out of employees, and so many others. The event had in attendance various HR professionals, sponsors, and delegates. Among the sponsors of this program is the Lagos State Government. Representing the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Sonwolu, was the Commissioner for Commerce, Trade and Investment, Falashade Ambrose Medebem. Reading the speech of the Governor, Mr. Sonwolu said he is proud to be a part of the movement. This gathering exemplifies the very essence of innovation and collaboration that is vital for steering the course of the future of work across our beloved continent. I want to congratulate and commend the HR Expo Africa for once again successfully organizing this event and for continuing to focus on their mission to optimize human resource capacity in Africa by bringing HR professionals together to discuss emerging trends in human capital management empowering them to improve organizations' performance and keep the HR flag flying high. HR Expo Africa has been the guardian of the human resource landscape and has played and continued to prove to be not mere bystanders, but architects of a future that is both progressive and inclusive, where every individual can thrive and contributes meaningfully. The theme for this year's festival, HR Renaissance, Innovating for Impact, perfectly captures the spirit of our time. When we are at crossroads, where the way we work is undergoing a fundamental transformation, especially in the realm of human resources. The HR world of work is undergoing another seismic change, a seismic shift propelled by technological advancements, globalization, and evolving expectations of employees. The award ceremony is a testament to the dedication of HR professionals in fostering a positive workplace culture and supporting organizational growth. Awarded in one of the categories is the People, Culture, Experience and Operations Director, TVC Communications, Kemi Shonubi, and she got the most influential HR award. Speaking to TVC News, participants, delegates, sponsors and awardees commended the organizers for their thoughtfulness in coming up with such an event. I think this is an incredibly laudable idea. Um, you heard Mr. Governor's speech, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sonwoli, when he alluded to the fact that the African population is growing at the fastest rate in the world and the fact that the landscape of employment um, has changed 
And so this is really laudable and necessary. So I think it's right at the right time and I look forward to listening and understanding some of the outcomes of here in terms of the impact and how we can really reposition our youth to be able to you know, participate much more globally in the world of work. I would say fantastic um, program, um, beautiful array of speakers. I sat in some of the sessions and um, we have master classes talking about work for work, um, employee engagement and especially employee engagement in today's world where you have um, companies operating hybrid, remote work. How do you still ensure that your personnel still have um, can leverage on that social skills, social awareness and all of that. So I would say kudos to the team for putting this together. It's timely as always and it's bumper packed. You know, a lot of speakers lined up from different um, industries have spoken today. I would just say well done, keep it up and thank you very much because it, it takes a lot to want to give back to people and I'm happy with the turnout. People from different industries, be it finance, be it technology, be it media, and we're ably represented. This is our ninth year and we're all about thought leadership. Uh, we try to set the tone uh, in terms of HR, current trends and happening stances and how we can make the world of work better for employees. So that's basically around it. Now for our ninth edition, um, you know the theme, which is HR Renaissance. We're saying that so many things are happening in our world, disruptions and all that. How can we reinvent ourselves? How can we become more creative as HR professionals in terms of uh, innovation, in terms of leveraging on technology, in terms of wellness for the employees? What are the new things you can bring in? So that's the whole idea of uh, the theme for this year at HR Expo Africa. I've been part of this since about 2018, so it's always nice. Number one, it brings uh, people together within the HR space, number one. And number two, we are always discussing contemporary HR issues globally and how these are affecting us uh, within the local environment. So always been um, amazing to be part of this. I think it's a wonderful initiative to focus on HR. I think at a corporate level, one of the most important things for any organization is the human capital. So um, I like the fact that the focus is on that and how to improve, I guess, the services and quality within the organization. Clearly, the HR function is a service function. It's a support function. Um, but for you to do that, you have to do it in a manner where you are serving the needs of your clients. And our clients sometimes but not sometimes, all the time, uh, internal clients. So the best way you can get the optimum HR solutions in place is when you collaborate with other functions. But more importantly, understanding the needs of your staff means those staff are not HR staff. Those staff are staff of other functions. So you must collaborate with them in being, to, being able to craft a solution that is fit for purpose. I think a lot of people forget that the ultimate objective of HR is to enable value creation in businesses. And that value creation is done in the line. So the HR team must collaborate with the line to be able to create value that then delivers uh, the bottom line for businesses. The initiative concerning this event was very good. I think it brings about uh, all HRs uh, in, uh, let me use the word, in the, uh, Lagos as a whole, because a Lagos event together, where we come together to share uh, what we do, tell about our services and our product, and also it brings about unionship, you know, togetherness in one accord, trying to understand the basic and the needs why human resources uh, need to be more effective in our society today. You understand? There are more to it, but you know, these uh, uh, events really speak well. And I hope uh, as time goes on, we need to come up with more uh, technical, um, more technical events that need to bring, uh, you know, uh, the HR association together as one bond, as one family. For me, the pros and cons of this technology is um, the flexibility. I'm laying emphasis on flexibility because um, right now, uh, for HR applications, we are out there. You can give feedbacks during appraisal processes. Before, it used to be more rigid than that. You want to run payroll, you have to go get an Excel sheet, different you know, manipulations, different things. But all of these things can be streamlined. You as a CEO, you know how much it is you're paying every month. So when there's an alteration, you can track it to all of these things. Recruitment, you don't necessarily need to engage the third party applications anymore. 
to recruit for you. All you need to do is if you have software, HR softwares, they can help you streamline these things. Check for criminal records. You, you are not scared of, uh, you're not scared that a criminal is actually coming to, you know, join your organization. All of these things is just something that has been helpful. And the good thing about it is technology has actually helped a lot. It has helped a lot because without technology, we won't have all this advancement. We won't have such instances because imagine me as an employee in your organization, I can't give a feedback, a honest feedback. That's really unfair on my path. What if I am the one for the job? I can't, you know, do certain things. But all of these things, the HR application has been able to what, work on all of these things and give you a very honest feedback because you don't even know who is behind the camera, who is behind the system rather. So you're good. Reiterating the need for HR professionals to up their skills, especially in the area of technology, the founder of HR Expo Africa, Eretha Koka, described this year's theme as tilting towards the fact that the world is evolving rapidly and the HR professionals should not be left behind. Hence, new tools are being introduced to help shape the world of the HR profession. This year, we've called the theme is um, HR Renaissance Innovating for Impact because everyone is innovated with technology and impact. You have to impact wherever you are as a profession, especially as HR, because we are the custodian of the people within the organization. And uh, the people are the most important part of the organization. I don't know, they say, they say asset, but we're not asset, we're important part of the organization. So, what we come together, we want people to talk about wellness. We, want, we have sponsors like Credit Direct who are helping with. Uh, financial well-being of organization because um, the work f the workplace has gone beyond just going to work and stopping at five o'clock it's gone what happens to you after work if you are not able to pay your bills after work if your salary is not enough these companies are able to help you with loans with the best interest rate to help me you know because can you imagine if you have 300 employees how many employers can give personal loans to, to their businesses and this is what HR is all about finding those people that can support the business um, the business units to grow we have people who are giving wellness support we have people who are doing gift card so if somebody so you know when we do that employee of the month not just putting my picture give me a gift card I can go to shop right shop for my children you know apart from just the learning abilities in the work we're also adding you know the whole entire well-being, mental, we are talking about physical, mental uh, well-being, um, your wellness, you know, what, the things that you could do and different things like that. So that's, that's what the work festival is all about. In between the events, attendees had the opportunity to network and connect with one another. Was the knowledge, skills and inspiration to lead transformative change the event has set the stage for a new era of HR excellence and effectiveness. A worthy recognition indeed. And that's it on this week's episode of People in the News. Remember, we always have more just for you right here on TVC News. All you have to do is to keep it a date with us next Sunday right here on this channel. Till then, have a lovely week. Bye.